Aries, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Aries, and I upload Aries readings every single week. Also, if it does not resonate with you, then I highly recommend you checking out your moon rising and Venus signs. And then um, there's a good chance that when you watch one of those videos that you might be on that timeline. Sometimes we just don't resonate with our sun sign, and that's true for all tarot readers, not just me. Okay, I'll lay some oracle cards down, and then I'll hop right into your tarot reading. Answering the call, the time is now. Voyage of the heart, love flows through you and to you. Solitude, in silence peace prevails, and what you're not seeing is transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Okay, Aries, so I'm feeling like there's kind of like enough is enough type of feeling with this. Um, I've had enough of whatever it is that's going on, and um, there's just this release. That's why you have the voyage of the heart. It's, it's like your heart is opening up to the possibility of the future and no longer dwelling on the past. There is some, like, I feel like there might be some messages from spirit or... Uh, maybe your guardian angel or maybe even an archangel out there. I feel like there's some sort of message that's going to be coming through, but the only way to get this message is truly to dive deep within yourself. That's why I feel like this transformation, this, this is a new perspective of the way that you've been doing things. I feel like the way that you, it's, it's almost like you've come into the realization of, the way that you've been doing things, you've been doing it the same way over and over again and expecting a different result. And so it's like you're you're changing one little thing at a time. Okay, I'll lay the tarot cards down and then I will go over them. Let's see what I have for you, Aries. Devil, right off the bat. Six of Swords. Temperance. Emperor, Four of Swords, Two of Cups, and the overall energy is the King of Swords. This is about finding your authenticity. So it's interesting because the way that I interpret tarot is whenever I lay this, like, the overall energy down, I personally feel that all of these things that I've laid over here are kind of like a roadmap to how to get to this specific card. That's just my interpretation of the way that I laid this specific spread down. So I'm seeing three major arcana, the devil, temperance, and emperor. Emperor is you, Aries. This is the head. This is like knowledge, guidance. Um, I am not seeing a lot of feminine energy, so I do feel like there, there is very much masculine energy here, which is, um, this is very out of balance. There's no pentacles here and there's no wands. So this is not a grounded energy. This is very, um, very up in the air, which would explain the devil card. There is movement towards finding this, um, this energy. Yeah, there's only one cup here. And this devil is Capricorn and Temperance is Sagittarius and this is Aries. So it's interesting because the opposite of Gemini is Sagittarius. I am going to clarify the devil and see where we're going with this. See what type of toxicity is in there. Judgment... Okay, so I got the moon, judgment, and four of wands. I feel like I feel like when you enter into a relationship, you are carrying excess baggage. It could be emotional baggage. Whatever it is, it's like you're not seeing the toxic traits that you have in relationships. There's um 
there's this understanding of you really need to dig deep. And that's interesting because um, this fresh new way of living emerges. This is you answering the call that this is um, the judgment card. The So you did get this card twice, the Oracle card and the judgment or the tarot card. This is about you coming into the realization of your toxic traits. You could be at the start of a dark night of the soul. But I'm, I'm not necessarily feeling that this is like... So usually when you go through a dark night of the soul, it literally like... It's like you touched Moldavite or something. It's like things just literally like major tower moments. It's, it's Some things are catastrophic. It's very emotionally difficult. It's hard. It's... Um, a, a whole change in your entire life. This Six of Swords. There is movement towards this Temperance card, which I'm really liking. I'm liking the movement towards this. It is about taking control of your life and coming into the realization of the things that you've been doing. Living more consciously. So I don't necessarily feel like this is like a huge dark night of the soul, but we always have like these little baby dark nights of the soul of like these realizations of like, oh, you know, this is a toxic trait, you know, I'll just work on that and focus on it. And you could have gone through a major dark night of the soul, but we have these little baby moments of, of um, self-awareness of our position in this world, of our position in relationships, our... Um, consciousness of the things that we're actually a part of and the things that we are actually allowing in our lives. This temperance card, I'm going to clarify. Page of Wands, Sun. I was wondering if the sun was going to come out because that's exactly what's going on here is you're realizing the actions that you need to take to really um, ignite this healing of your toxic traits. And the way that you ignite this healing of your toxic traits is this voyage of the heart. It's like opening your heart chakra. That's why this ended with the two of cups. And that's why the overall energy is this king of swords of you finding your authenticity. How do you find your authenticity in this world? What is authenticity? What does that feel like? What does that look like? How, how, how am I supposed to be authentic in every single situation? You know, I was watching some sort of Facebook TikTok thing. And Dr. Phil was on there, and he said that the within the first hour of meeting somebody, there's, like, ten lies that are told. Like, one person tells, like, ten lies, and it's, like, it's very fascinating. You know, are you that person that's telling those ten lies to impress the other person? This Aries card, what is it that you're trying to control or trying to do? Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This is about um, trying to really work on your life and focus on what it is that you want to accomplish in this life. Where do you want to go? The things that, you know, like what's a waste of time? What do you need to work on to improve your life? And you can always improve yourself. And if you're constantly improving yourself, then your life is always going to get better because your perspective will change. And then so when your perspective change, you know, sometimes doing things won't be as difficult as it was before. And when things don't, aren't as difficult as before, then you'll do them more. And it'll progress you faster. So this, this is a change internally, especially with this Four of Swords. This is, this is about healing whatever it is, that, this toxicity, this, this issue that you had in your life. I am going to clarify this King of Swords. Let's see what's going on here. Fool, Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. It's um, it's about the immature behavior that you might have in situations. It's like really like reflecting, like wow, you know, I really did not handle that situation um, with grace and gratitude. Wow, you know, I really did not handle that situation. For example, um, I have a, a twelve-year-old son, and we were bike riding yesterday, and he put his helmet on. And he wanted me to, to adjust the helmet. He's like, this isn't working. I was like, okay, so I adjust it. He put it on. He got mad that it, it wasn't perfect the second time. And he takes the helmet and he throws it down. And I'm like, look, I'm like, it is trial and error. Like, you're sitting here throwing a temper tantrum. We only tried it twice. It's not like we tried it a hundred times. I'm like, you're already getting frustrated. And we just started on the fixing of this. I'm like, I kind of feel like that's what's going on here is, you know, it's like, 
before you even really jumped into the fixing of the problem or the fixing of the situation or the fixing of yourself, you it's like giving up. It's like, oh, oh okay, this isn't going to work. It's like, but you didn't even actually try. So I really feel like that's also a part of you that could, that is t a toxic trait that you need to heal. But it is about just letting things go. It's, it's about moving on and it's, you know, people like to say, you know, let's just brush this under the rug. Well, the rug stays in your house, and that means that whatever you brush under the rug is going to continue to stay there, and then it'll pile up and pile up and pile up until one day there's a huge pile under your rug, and you're walking, and you trip. And then you're going to have to go back, and you're going to have to scoop all that stuff that you've put under that rug, and you're going to have to put it in the dustpan, and you're going to have to take it out of your house. So I don't ever say brush it under the rug. I always say get it out of your house. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on here is like you're sitting here and you're looking at who you are, what you've done in the past. And it's like, wow, you know, I really never actually got over that situation. It's like, but how do you get over these situations with this voyage of the heart? And that's exactly like it really boils down to this one simple card out of this whole deck. Okay, Aries, in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions with my pendulum, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Aries and I upload Aries readings every single week. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.